Yeah, have to go, man. How you doing? All right, so today starts off a little bit different than it usually does. Uh, we're getting ready to cut some grass. Here's what we're dealing with. Very tall. Holy moly. They weren't lying. This is three feet tall. Yeah, damn. Hey, my neighbor, my neighbor, he said, uh, before he moved, he said, if you guys want anything, then you take it. We're good. We're just gonna get it. <laughs> we're gonna get it cut. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, we probably could use a bush hog for this. All right, get some pictures for our. Man, this stuff just yeah, I took a picture too and better too. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty Ridiculous. insane. You ever seen grass this tall? I'm lost, man. It's, <laughs> it's almost bigger than me. I cut my yard twice a week. Yeah, I mean, it's a way to keep it. Keep your yard up. That's all right. We're going to get it knocked out. I just put in Bermuda grass. There you go. Won't have to water it. Won't have to worry about it. All right. Let's go ahead and get it knocked out. All righty. So what you guys just seen just a second ago was what we just got done doing. Me, Jew Man, and Jellico. Uh, both of those guys are dead ahead of me driving the box truck that looks like it's leaning these two back tires on this side on this side over here they don't be looking too good uh, but that's been looking like that since we had it if anybody knows why those two tires are leaning the way that they are i would greatly appreciate you leaving a comment and letting me know but folks, I said we were not doing any more landscaping work. And then this morning, guess where you saw us? You saw us doing landscaping work. Uh, my realtors hit me up, got a lot of respect for those folks. And they had a property that needed to get cut. They told me over the phone yesterday that the, the grass was three feet tall there. And I thought they were exaggerating. They told me that they weren't. Now I had bid the job with them at $50 prior to knowing about the three foot grass. They actually hit me up and said, Joe, that's a little low. You might want to charge a little bit more. So I did, I charged $75. That was still not enough. We literally had to weed whack that stuff first and then cut it twice. Just to get it looking like these pictures right here, it still doesn't look all that great. But then we cut that yard three times just to get it to look like that. So it definitely looks a lot better than it did it was a lot of work. I think that took us damn near two hours to get that done. And it wasn't even that big of a yard. Had to literally weed whack everything. But folks, right now, we are heading over to the storage unit uh, because we are so close to getting this thing looking like a, a furniture store or looking like a home, a home goods store. Meaning that we're getting this thing a lot more organized. That's really good. We also got a lot of stuff that we've been selling on average, we're selling about $100 worth of merchandise per day. So that's a good thing. And I've got a couple of more sales lined up for today. I believe we've got some books that we're going to be selling. I know we got a mattress that we're selling later on this evening. And we still got to unload the rest of the last unit that you guys saw us do. Now, there's something from that unit that you guys did not see in the video and it's a little risque i'm gonna warn you i'm gonna share with you guys real quick a clip from yesterday when it was just jellico and i and uh i want to warn you guys it's pretty crazy all right what's going on everybody we are back this is actually the third time that i'm going to be filming the same exact damn thing i just did this live twice i did it on facebook and i did it on uh, Twitter, but I want to share with you guys what we got going on today. It's only Jellico and I. What's going on with your brother? What's up, brother? How we doing today? Doing good, man. Doing good. Wish we were doing a little bit better, but we're doing good regardless. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Staying busy. So, folks, here's our current situation. We're back at our storage unit. It's starting to get a lot more cleaned out, and we're going through stuff, trying to organize, trying to separate, go through trash. Uh, but the biggest thing is trying to unload the back of the box truck. We have not even made a dent in that just yet. So basically what's been going on is I've been unloading stuff. I've been sorting through it right here. I got my keeper's box right here. 
some uh, some slippers, a couple of unopened clothing items. Don't know what those are. There's also a $10 or $15 iTunes gift card that's never been used. We found some weave. Check this out, folks. We've got the Yaki Perm Weave. 100% Klondike hand braid. The next time y'all see me sitting in front of the camera, this is what I'm going to be rocking right here. It almost look like pigtails. So I've been going through this. jellico has been doing what he's been doing and also cleaning up furniture. We've got this crib set right here that you should have seen it before it got cleaned up. It was horrendous. It's a really nice all wood crib set. Hopefully we'll be able to fetch some decent money for that. But folks, the most important reason for me to film right now is to let you know, look, when we're doing these storage units, we're not getting a chance to dig through everything. We don't get a chance to really dig through everything until either we get some time, maybe it's the next day when we get to the storage unit, try to separate everything like I was just talking about we do. And with that, we don't get a chance to see everything that we got. So I want to show you guys some things that I just stumbled upon. And it's in this box right here. Now, folks, in this box, uh, we have, well, there's some candles in here somewhere. I don't, I must have buried them. Got a couple of pairs of shoes. It's not, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot in here. Folks, there's also, I pulled these out of the box. There were some religious books, some T.D. Jakes books. Um, Little Black Girl Lost. There's the other T.D. Jakes book I pulled out. But folks, I ran across what I believe is a dog toy. Now, I don't know if dog toys have any value or not. But if they do, I really want you guys to let me know what they're worth. Uh, we got this first chew toy right here. I believe that's a dog chew toy. I could be wrong. Uh, but it, it definitely looks like one of those fetch toys you throw for your dog, dog goes and gets it. And then this one right here. Uh, I don't know exactly what this one is, but if I can zoom in on this, I gotta put this down so I can really show you. I also got gloves on while touching this as well, folks. Uh, there is... There's residue on this thing. Can you guys see that? The camera's acting really funny. Let me try to put it in the light. All right, here we go. So hopefully you guys can see that. I guess it's brown residue right there. Uh, maybe this is a key to something. I'm not honestly sure. A dog toy or a key to something. I guess this is the handle side of it right here. I don't understand what the brown residue on this is. But I ask you guys, you know, you let me know what you think this is worth. Uh, the dog fetch toy as well. I'm ready to put an ad together on offer up in Facebook Marketplace. I'm not asking for a lot, maybe like five, ten bucks. Come get you some dog toys. And uh, that's what it is. So we're going to continue to dig through this stuff. And if we run across any other goodies, I'm going to be sharing those with you guys. And I'm quite sure by the fact that we ran across those dog toys, God only knows what else we're going to find in there. Uh, Jellico actually smelled them, and what did they... <laughs> Don't do that, man. Don't do I'm kidding. Jellico didn't smell them. Do so we're going to continue to dig through this, folks, and I can't wait to share with you guys all of the good stuff that we hopefully find in here. There's some things that I'm looking for. I want to see if that computer we found works. Oh, there was one other thing in here, too. I want to share this with you, folks. We also have some nice undergarments. Uh, Jellico, did I show you those? Yeah, oh, man. The Yikes. God. Uh, slightly used. <laughs> Maybe it was a bad day. I don't know what this uh, woman's name was, but I bet you her, her nickname was uh, Skidmark. Stanky. Hey, uh, Stanky Leg. All right, so we're just arriving at the storage unit. And again, that clip that you saw right there, it's crazy the stuff that we find in these units after doing the units and, and, and getting a chance to go through everything a lot more thoroughly. Jew man, what's going on, man? Can't call it, man. You know, glad to be back to work. Damn know. right. You know, weekend, man, I kind of enjoy myself a little bit now. I want to enjoy myself right here a little more. You know? There you go, man. There you go. Well, we got plenty to enjoy here. Uh, we're going to get a Jew man reaction, Jellico, to, uh, to the dog toys. <laughs> dog toys. Probably never seen dog toys like that. Really, probably never. Seen. Man's been gone for a long time, y'all. So <laughs> this stuff looks like it's an alien. Chelica, where are they? I don't know. You put them up yesterday. I man, don't do that. You put them up. Chelica was the last man with them. We're gonna go in here and see if we can find them. 
We're gonna work on this bed set today. We got the pieces that we need for that. And I'm on the hunt for the dog toys. I bet you they're right. So we're gonna bring them <sighs> Gosh we found them. Right. Yeah, Drew man, but come here real quick, man. Let me show you these joints right here. So we got a little collection. You ever seen a dog toy like that? <laughs> No, I haven't. <laughs> hey, boy. Oh, man. It's gonna look like an octopus arm or something. I mean, we didn't go up a little level. You start off small and... You gotta work, you gotta work your <laughs> you gotta way up right there. You gotta work your way up to the big one. You gotta work your way up. I can't show the other one. The other one's... Oh, God. Yeah, no skivvies right there, boy. Them joints is... Hey, <laughs> boy. <laughs> what you think that is right there, Juman? Watch out, that oh. joint's got some residue on it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Huh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I guess they go hand in hand, you know. <laughs> you don't want to use this one, use this one. <laughs> oh, God, boy. All right. So the game plan and why we continuously are here is because, folks, the box truck is still not unloaded. We are going to get the box truck unloaded today. Jew Man is going to help us with that. We still got more box. Oh, you can't really see them. We got way. We got a lot more boxes back there to go through. We're gonna get all of this unloaded, get pictures of it, get it posted for sale. But before we go any further, I do wanna give a very special shout out to an awesome supporter of After Prison Show by the name of Jen Jen Ball. Uh, Jen Jen is a nice woman who was interested in the Mary Kay products. She actually helped support After Prison Show a little bit by purchasing some of the Mary Kay products. And she is a person who has been in trouble herself and now she has a successful cleaning business. And I'm wondering if she began to know about After Prison Show from when we were doing the cleaning vlogs. I'm not exactly sure, but again, a very special shout out to Jen. And we're getting ready to get to work. Folks, ain't no telling what we're gonna find today. It could be anything. All right. I think we're missing the mark a little bit in terms of like supposed to be filming everything because we're definitely not filming everything and I think that should speak to our work ethic because we be working boss. Yeah, I was about to say. We be working. It's not, it's not from lack of doing anything, that's for sure. <laughs> Jellico's bundled up like it's winter time. You can, boy you got the matte, boy you got everything lime green on man, it, or yellow, whatever color it is, it looks good man. Folks, we had a busy day today. We ended up doing a, a landscaping gig, cutting some grass that was about as tall as Jew Man. It was rough out there. Got the job done. Got the job done, man. You know, that's what we do. Get it going. Get it going. If you got three feet tall grass, we're going to get that junk gone too. And also, uh, we've been going through the storage unit, uh, trying to see what other kind of goodies we can find. I'm going to pop the top on this. Here's a little goodie bag of things that you guys haven't seen that we didn't know we had. Found a little more jewelry in here. Uh, that's uh, that's legit right there. It's turning green, so we know it's legit. We also found another computer, folks. We got a laptop. Old HP laptop right there. We found a computer in the unit when we first did it. And that computer actually works. Cody's uh, completely wiped the computer clean. He sent me the specs on the computer. I don't know exactly what it is. It's not like an expensive computer. Maybe a hundred bucks. We also sold a full-size mattress, and we had another full-size mattress in the back of the truck that we were getting ready to throw away. And those people bought that mattress as well. So I'm getting ready to send uh, send the fellas home. They worked hard today. There you go, wipe off the sweat. These guys worked really hard today. They've been working hard every day. I'm and I'm surprised you didn't get in the room. Any uh, film of uh, that that yard we did, man? That was pretty. Uh... I did. I got. I got. I just got a little bit. God, that was a lot. Man. Look, yeah. still got grass all over me. Still in the work boots. Yeah. So, like I said, I'm getting ready to send the fellas home. I got to stay up here for like another 45 minutes, just probably twiddling my thumbs for this mirror right here, folks. This mirror that I initially had listed for 30 bucks, I dropped the price down to 20. Then I dropped the price down again to 15. Everybody was hitting me up at 15. But that was on Friday, on the day when we went and did the two moves. Oh, those two moves. Yeah. Still haven't had a chance to talk about those yet. Yeah. And now I'm gonna stay up here because somebody's coming to buy this mirror for $8. <laughs> That's not even minimum wage anymore. It's a pack of cigarettes. But it is what it is. We're selling a lot of stuff. Uh, we're doing good and 
We're not gonna be doing any more units for just a little while. We're gonna take a little breather from the units. I was just telling you, man, uh, th these guys already know what happens when we take a breather. That means tomorrow we're gonna go get another one. I was about to say, man, why can't even say anything like yeah, that, man? You know. Every time you say that, hmm. we gotta know. Yeah. Jellica, people are speaking real high about your work ethic, man. Yeah, but it wears on me though, man. I'm getting, I'm getting too old. Like right now, I got I got an estimate. I got a job to round up, and then I got to start painting my house at the, by the end of the night. Good Lord, man. No wonder when we rolled up, you was asleep in the back of the truck. <laughs> the only time I'm going to get in it. And you, man, what do you think about everything that we're doing, man? Hey, man, one of the things that stood out to me most, and I did, it kind of touched me a little bit, is when Jellico was talking about that $1,000, that honest $1,000 that he made, man, you know, that he, you know, out of all the money that he have made in his life, that thousand dollars right there, he was most proud of himself behind that because it was honest money, you know. And man, that's hey man, that touched me right there, man. It's my dude, man. Yeah. Well, hell yeah. Shout out to the team out here working hard every single day and finding time to film about Takashi 69. Look, we do it all, folks. If you need your grass cut for ten dollars, if you need a, if you need your entire house moved for twenty. We got you. We got you.